Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how we can convert a pair of parametric equations and write them in a Cartesian equation form. And so to do this I'm going to work through three different questions that will hopefully demonstrate the three different types of questions you could come across in an exam and I'll timestamp each one below so you can just skip through to whichever question you want to see. And we'll start off with the most simple case, right, which is this one here. So we have to convert the pair of parametric equations x equals 2t plus 1 and y equals 4t into a Cartesian equation form. And so if we think about the Cartesian equation, it's just an equation in terms of x and y. There's no parameter in there. And so what we're going to want to do is eliminate the parameter from our equations, which is actually pretty straightforward to do. We're going to pick one of these. OK, it doesn't matter which one. So say we'll start off with this one, x equals 2t plus 1. And we're going to rewrite it to make the parameter the subject. OK, so I'm going to re rearrange it to make t the subject. So we've got x subtract 1 divided by 2 is equal to t. Once I've done this, I'm then going to substitute this into my other equation. So I'm going to substitute it in for t there. And if I do that, we get that y is going to be equal to 4 lots of x subtract 1 divided by 2. And if we expand this, we get that y is equal to 2x subtract 2. And you can see pretty easily we've converted this into a Cartesian equation. Now, we didn't have to work through it that way. We could have first rearranged our equation of y. So if we do that, we would get y divided by 4 is equal to t. And substituting that into x equals 2t plus 1, we get that x is equal to 2 lots of y divided by 4 plus 1. Expanding, that's going to give us that x is equal to y divided by 2 plus 1. And multiplying through by 2, we get that 2x is equal to y plus 2, which is the same as the equation above, just in a slightly different form. So that's the first case, which is probably the most simple. The second one is slightly trickier, and this is where we have sort of like trig functions in our equations. So we've got x equals 2 plus sine of t, and y is equal to 2 plus cosine 2t. And so we could rearrange to make t the subject, say for the first equation, x equals 2 plus sine of t, but we would get that the inverse sine of x subtract 2 is equal to t, and substituting that in doesn't really make a nice equation that we want to deal with. But what we could do, okay, is we could substitute in sine of t into the other equation because that's still removing our parameter. And so the way we could do that is by using a trig identity. We could say that, well, cos of 2t is actually identical to 1 subtract 2 lots of sine squared of t. And so using that to rewrite our equation for y, we get that y is now equal to 2 plus 1 subtract 2 sine squared of t, which is, if we neaten it up, y is equal to 3 subtract 2 sine squared t. Now if we rearrange our equation for x to make sine of t the subject, we get that x subtract 2 is equal to sine of t. And now we can substitute sine of t into our equation for y. And we get now y is equal to 3 subtract uh, 2 lots of x subtract 2 all squared. And you can see we've now written it into our Cartesian equation form. So again, it's not that difficult. You just need to maybe use some trig identities that you know. Let's now look at the third type, okay, which is again slightly different. And so we've got x is equal to t plus 1 over 3t, and y is equal to t subtract 1 over 3t. And so rearranging this to make uh, t the subject is going to be pretty tricky to do. And so what we could do is treat them like simultaneous equations and add them together. And let's see what happens when we do that. Well, if we add them, we get that x plus y is going to be equal to t plus 1 over 3t plus t subtract 1 over 3t. And you can see the 1 over 3 t's cancel out. And we get that x plus y is equal to 2 t. And dividing both sides by 2, we get that x plus y divided by 2 is equal to t. And now we can substitute this into either our equation of x or y. So say we pick our equation of x, we get that x is now equal to, well, x plus y over 2 plus 1 over 3 lots of x plus y over 2. And we could now expand and simplify and make this just a neater version of the equation. But you can see we've written it into a Cartesian equation form. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.